Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Halo Infinite weekly update video for week number 43. I believe there's only 7 more weeks left until I guess we get to uh, season 2.5 is what I'll call it. It's that winter continuation season. But let's go ahead and uh, talk about what's going on this week. And so we got the yapping happening. And that will bring us a free 10 tier event pass along with some wacky game modes which we played in BTB. I have not played it in BTB. I've seen other people, uh, I guess people who've got to touch it early, play the 4v4. So I don't know really what's going to happen in this BTB. But I'm looking forward to uh, basically getting that, checking that out, letting you know next week, later on this week about it. Um, I want to make sure to get this video out before I actually start grinding away at my uh, event pass. But we'll go ahead and check out the event pass right here. I know I've put a video out about this a few weeks ago. But uh, you start off with this slippery when wet backdrop. You get an AI color. You get the assault rifle, platinum marigold. That one's uh, a nice looking color. Free hugs, which uh, reminds me of uh, another visor purple color that we have. You get this mohawk, which I don't really care for the mohawk, but it's cool nonetheless. It's a free thing. You get a wacky banana as a weapon charm. Then one of the first cool items that I like, which won't be until uh, basically number seven, which is your Mark Seven coating. Overall, this one to me looks really cool. I was thinking about buying uh, one of the new HCS team coatings, the optic one, but I don't know. I have to unlock this first and see which one I like better. And then moving on, we got the sidekick color, which again is just okay. Then we got a stance. A lot of people will like this stance. I personally don't care for it. I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. It's just, uh, I don't care for anything that doesn't have your customized weapon. And then last but not least, the kill effect. And that's the one that I'm looking most forward to. I've been looking forward to since uh, this event was basically talked about. But there we go for uh, basically what the event pass is. Let's move over and see what challenges are going to look like. Obviously, yours will be different. But we got uh, just killing five Spartans. Easy, complete. The Yapping match, one of those. Very easy. I could probably get a Mangler in one of these things. Win any PvP. That goes for anything. So, includes the Yapping. So, that's good. I can basically do all four of these while working on my Yapping. Then, uh, moving through. Complete three matches. Easy. Um, we got score. We got another score, we got another score, then we got uh, kill more enemies, win a match, uh, another score, and then uh, kill 25 enemies, along with some other ones spread in between that makes it a little bit harder because then I have to move away from the Yapanine to go ahead and play these land grabs, and I want to say yeah, rumble pit, another land grab rumble pit. So. Overall, looks very easy. It's just going to be a, a little bit time consuming to do this. And not too bad. I would say I'm probably going to knock this out in about three and a half, four hours max. And so I'll be done with this uh, later on today. Hopefully they don't do that reset they did the last time there was an event. Now, moving on from that, we're going to talk about what the weekly item is. So you saw the weekly item. It was that charm right there, the warp charm. And so basically what you need to do is... In order to obtain this is get to obviously the challenge number 21, the capstone challenge. It will be for getting a total score of 5,000 in the Yapping event. So again, a really quick and easy one. Two to three matches max and I believe most people can do it. Some might even be able to do it in one. But with that out of the way, let's move over to the shop and see what's in here. Okay, so I want to say all these are new. I'm not exactly sure about this one right here. This one kind of looks familiar, but again, I see all these leaked photos all the time of content that's coming, so that might be where I saw it, or this would be the only, uh, I guess, reused one. Let me know in the comments below. I know one of you are really good at that because you tell me all the time. But what you get is you get the stance, you get the smoky ghost uh, coating, which overall has a, a really clean look. I'd say this is one of the nicer, cleaner looks. Then you get a, another purple or violent uh, visor, which is cross core. 
but you get free hugs this week, so that's not really anything. Plus, you probably already have a purple or a couple of those. And then the nameplate emblem bundles, which is basically, I guess, the, the dummy grunt, the punching bag grunt. All right, moving on to uh, Grunt Party. Man, they missed out. I would love a kill effect that was the Grunt Party. And it should have been with this, including this. Grunt Underground. So you got the nameplate emblem bundle here, along with the backdrop. The backdrop kind of sucks because it, it covers up part of the face right there. But here is, uh, I guess, the em emblem emblem all right moving on this one right here this one actually looks pretty cool we own the void yeah I like how this one looks I'm just man, I'm gonna have to see do I want to pay three bucks for this it is unique because if you look it kind of has a texture that I don't believe any other visor that we have has it kind of feels like it'd be like a rough texture but I like that one. I'm going to have to uh, think about that. So that is a maybe buy for me. And then uh, for 11 bucks, we got right here an armor effect. This might be the first armor effect I actually pass up. I can't see myself using this on any uh, armor ever. I mean, the bunny one was going to be a, a maybe. But this one I, I'm going to have to, especially because it's sold as a bundle. And I don't really care for the rest of the bundle. If you see... I don't care for the Vanna White bundle, right? Or the Vanna White pose. This bronze color doesn't look better than the other uh, coating that's available this week. And then the nameplate emblem bundle. That's pretty expensive for what you get. You don't get a whole lot of, uh, I guess, good stuff. It's mostly that effect right there. The effect, possibly people might buy this it for the stance. And then maybe the coating. Which the gold coating was, I want to say, a lot better than this one, in my opinion. So, do what you want, but that's uh, 11 bucks right there. I hope they end up having uh, maybe the effect separate, and then maybe I'd consider getting it if it was like 5 bucks or so. But, the other thing that changed is today, starting September 6th, the HCS offerings changed. And so now we're back to armor coatings, team armor coatings, along with... So you got the armor coating, you got the battle rifle coating, which now they got some pretty sick looking battle rifle coatings here. The team um, charm, and then the team emblem. So the nameplate emblem bundle right there. So overall looking really cool. I'll go through these uh, really quick. I'm just gonna look at what the BR and uh, the actual armor coating looks like. Now the cool thing about these armor coatings are that you can actually put whatever you want on. So whatever your guy looks like your Mark 7 um, armor core is set up with, it will actually translate with just this coating on. You don't even have to put on the team emblem anymore. So I'm gonna go and show you what mine looks like with this EU Knight coating. So as you see, there's mine with the EU Knight coating. Overall, it looks pretty cool. I wanna say that there's uh, probably one that I'm probably gonna get and then maybe three others that I'm kind of on the uh, fence about, but we'll see. The BR looks okay. Moving on to phase. I think this one, that, that too high of gloss black in my opinion. And then uh, the BR just looks okay. This one, I do like the, the texture, but I don't really care for the color. Kind of, I don't know why I'm thinking of like Atari, Pac-Man, Asteroid, something like that when I see this coating. Overall, it's different. I do like that, that they went with something different, but not really my uh, look. And then, I don't know, BR again, just looks a little plain. And we got this armor coating. Overall, this one's probably one of the better looking ones, in my opinion. It might be a, a lot of shiny black on it. But at the same time, I like how that red, how that red is on there. And then the BR, again, just okay. We'll go down to Space Station. Space Station, I think there's from uh, the last season one. I think that one looked the best. But this one, I don't know. This one is if uh, you're Austin Powers, that, that character. I love gold. But nah, that ain't for me. 
But overall, this one, this is one of the cleaner looking ones. It might be a kind of basic with only two tone, but I do like how that looks. Moving on to Sentinels, another one of those that I like. I like the, I don't know, it's kind of like a grayish black along with the black and the red. And then it's uh, not asymmetrical. I do like how that one looks. Let me see what my character looks like with that. So this one's one of the maybes. I even like, you know, my, uh, my fist, my gloves. Stands out really good. So that's one of my maybes. Moving over to the battle rifle. It's a clean looking one, but I got something like that already. Then Fnatic. Again, Fnatic has that, that gray and that black along with the orange scheme. This one is asymmetrical, which isn't a bad thing. I'm just not really all into orange. But hey, if they end up winning a championship, I will go ahead and purchase it for them. And then last but not least will be Octip Optic Gaming. And this one's the one that I'm probably going to purchase. I don't know. I just like how this looks. But obviously, I have to see how that coding is that we're getting in the Yappanin event to see if that kind of takes its place. And again, I like that this one has a design on it. Optic did a great job with that. I mean, it's minimal it's nothing like wow uh, as far as the design goes but it's just different it's unique and that's what i want and then moving over to the br again you have a little bit of that design on there and i'm kind of a sucker for the white color if you see the weapons that i play with it's the white color so i think this one will fit nice on my br so this will probably be a purchase and then uh, i showed you cloud nine but didn't really show you cloud nine and again this one's one of my maybes because i just like how that uh bronze and blue offset each other and then the battle rifle this one again is a cool looking battle rifle so that kind of got you caught up on what's going on with the shop and so now uh the latest news so last week we did get an updated roadmap and most people were disappointed with it including myself i mean i'm not going to say i'm disappointed in the actual content that's coming i'm not disappointed in how long it's going to take i'm disappointed that i don't know what's going to happen over the next two months or so before that next winter season drops. I want to know, you know, are we getting something else in the middle here? Are we getting some new uh, game modes? What's going on with uh, Infection? They still have not talked about Infection. And that's a game mode that they've been talking, we as a community have been talking about since it launched. Give us Infection. And they say they listen to the community, but why haven't they at least told us, hey, we're working on it. Hey, it'll be coming in season three. It's coming later this year. I mean, something so that we kind of know they are actually listening. And so to me, that'd be what I'd like to see. But I'm not really going to talk about the roadmap all that much because that content isn't coming for about two months. I'll talk about it closer to that time. But the thing that I would like to say is that they did announce the solid drop date for Forge. And so I'm excited for Forge. You know, I'm looking forward to what I can create, what the community create, and kind of uh, bring some videos on all that stuff. I kind of see a lot of Forgers doing it right now. I just kind of passed up on it, hoping that it was going to be dropping in September. Obviously, we're in September. It missed that target, but it is dropping November 8th. So when that season 2.5 drops, it is dropping that day one. So start planning out what you want to create, what game mode you want to create, what can be out there, or just, hey, be ready to start playing other people's maps and games. Now again, I'll have more info on the roadmap and Forge as we get closer to the release of those events. And then last but not least, we did have the HCS AMZ Regional Finals that took place over this past weekend. Of course, that meant a couple of Twitch drops. So viewers walked away with a wasp coating and a weapon charm, while the Chiefs dominated and walked away with the trophy, the money, and the W. A lot of good matches. I know I didn't get to see as much of the HCS content as I would have liked to, just because it was kind of taking place in a different time zone, which kind of threw off a lot of the, the Twitch drops and all that for us here in the U.S. I know we kind of complain about it because it threw it off over here, but just kind of think, most of the other events... People in Europe have to tolerate the time zone difference. So, once here, once there, isn't a big problem, at least in my book. But that's it that I got for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Get to grinding out this event pass if this is what you want. But until next time, Assassinators out.